Hey everybody. Tonight I want to shoot another video in my Fish I Would Never Buy Again series, and I'm really hoping we at least get a glimpse of this fish. We're probably not, and that is largely the reason I'd just never buy this fish again. This really doesn't have to be a very involved video. I have a South American bumblebee catfish that lives... Oh, we just got it. That's the best look I've had of it in a while. Look, there's its little face again. Wow. And that's my point. I've had this fish for years, and those brief glimpses like that actually get me excited because I never see this fish. It's just pointless to have in the tank. Now, I want to clarify something that I said in my other video, the first in this series, uh, when I was speaking about the Chinese algae eater and never wanting to buy that fish again. I'm not saying these are bad fish. I'm simply saying, for one reason or another, I wouldn't buy it again. And the case of this fish, this South American bumblebee catfish, I'd never buy it again because I never ever see it. It's just a pointless fish to put in your fish tank as far as I'm concerned. Now, as I was saying, if you're a catfish fanatic and you just love all things catfish, uh, personally, I think there's plenty of choices out there of catfish that you could find better choices than the South American bumblebee. But that's just me personally. If you're really into catfish, it's not a bad fish to own. It's just one you need to be prepared to never see it. Now, I also believe in setting a habitat up so that the animal is comfortable. If you put one of these in a bare bottom glass tank that's empty, then yes, you'll see it. But I don't think that's properly keeping this fish. To properly keep this fish, you're going to have to house it in an area that's got caves and hiding places. And if you do that, you're never going to see it. So in addition to the fact that it's super reclusive, it only comes out at night. The times I've come down here very early in the morning, yeah, it's, it's basically lying on the front porch. It comes out of its little cave and lies one inch away from the opening so that the slightest glint of light or movement, it turns around and is gone again. And it's simply just never seen. It also comes out at night and devours small fish in the tank. If you've got neons, especially neons tend to sleep. Oh, there's another one that's going to be on the list very soon. You just got a glimpse of that. We'll leave that as a little uh, teaser. The red tail loach is another one that I'll be talking about here in the very near future. Um, but any kind of fish that spends a lot of time on the bottom at night is definitely susceptible to becoming fish food for one of these little... Uh, South American bumblebees and the, and the neons that's exactly what they do they sleep down at the bottom and then this little catfish is going to go around and make short work of all your neons or any other small bottom dwelling fish so all in all to me it's simply just not worth buying and having in the tank there are a variety of little catfish that go by South American bumblebee they're all very closely related but there's probably several different species that all get called the same thing and for a while, I did actually have... There, we got another little tiny glimpse of it. If you sit here long enough and just stare at it, you occasionally do see a fin stick out or the head dart out or something, and that's pretty much it. Um, I had got some from the Big Chain Pet Store, and one batch they got in one week looked exceptionally dark and unusual, and I thought they were really neat looking, and I bought them. And one of my viewers, a very astute viewer, pointed out that that was not a South American bumblebee. That was a South American bumblebee jelly catfish. Very similar, but the jellies are darker, they get a little bit bigger, and the jellies are more aggressive. So when you're buying one of these South American bumblebee catfish, it's a good likelihood you might be buying something that you're not entirely sure what you're getting. And then, of course, you have to make sure you're buying the South American and not the Asian bumblebee because the Asian bumblebee catfish gets about seven or eight inches, I believe, and is a much different uh, fish all around than these little South American jobs. So that's about it. That's all I really have to say. I just don't really want to spend any time. Well, there was its nose. Uh, I wouldn't spend money again buying a fish that you see this infrequently that does nothing but basically give you bio load, prevent you from keeping small fish in the tank, and more or less serving no purpose whatsoever. It's just not a fish that I've enjoyed owning at all. So once again, if you're really a catfish fan and you like little, um, you know, interesting catfish that are sneaky and reclusive and that you never see, then this one's right up your alley. If you're someone who actually wants to see the fish you've purchased and enjoy it, don't spend your money on a South American bumblebee catfish because it will live under a rock and you'll never see it. So that's just my two cents. You may feel differently. That's great if you do. Please leave a comment down below. 
Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. You don't want to miss anything I've got coming up on this tank uh, or any other ones I've got doing. Plus, of course, this video series that I'm going to continue. And don't forget, this one is my Garami tank. So thanks for watching. I'll see you real soon in the next one.